I guess the bots can't circle the cats fast enough. So folks, today we're gonna do an interesting speed run. It's a speed run of disappointment. That's right, the uh, Analog 3D, which of course Analog's uh, Nintendo 64 console, um, is about to go live for its pre-order in just a couple moments. So we are going to uh, not only experience the uh, highs and, well, really lows of this process, we're going to do something innovative. We're going to mix two concepts uh, that should go great together in content creation, uh, whining about pre-orders that go horribly wrong, and speed running. That's right, here we go. We have the live split here. The analog store will open in mere moments, and we're gonna be the first on the scene to speed run it, and that means, as long as no one else is doing this, we're gonna WR this bad boy. That's right, no one is gonna be able to take my analog 3D any percent with eBay kicking the nuts category uh, speed run world record away from me. So finally, finally, I've got a category where I will uh, forever be considered the best. So all we have to do right now is literally we are just waiting uh, for the store to open. It is like two minutes and change before the appointed time. So I guess what I'm going to do here is get ready to start my live split. Uh, as soon as the store is open is when we will start the split. Uh, as soon as I find out that uh, this indicates that they are sold out, uh, we will go to the next segment, Scalped on eBay, which is where we will sit here and we will refresh eBay and wait for uh, a listing for Analog 3D, sorted by newly listed, as you can see, at the very least, no one has been a complete uh, horrible person and already listed a pre-order uh, before they even went live, so that's cool. But as soon as uh, the first one shows up, that segment uh, will be done. And of course, we know. And we may just time-lapse this, but within probably a few hours... We'll have rage videos from both Mad Little Pixel and RGT85. Incredibly disappointed and upset that uh, they got locked out of this. So that's always going to be sports entertaining. And of course, the last segment, all hope is lost when we realize we're never going to get one of these retail. So here we go. We are like moments away from the analog store running. And again, us uh, starting our live split could be the first time that someone has speed run the process of being disappointed by an analog pre-order. Oh, here we go, here we go, clonk. All right, let's get started here. Uh, analog 3D, we're just gonna go with the basics here. Add to cart, uh, pre-order now, limit two per order. I just, you know what, I'm, I'm not a horrible person. I just want one. Uh, I agree to all your terms and conditions and privacy policy. Let's go to the checkout. Yes, I'm human. Oh, my goodness. Draw a box around the biggest airplane. Well, it's this. There's only one plane. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Yes. There it is. Draw a box around the biggest cat. The, what? There's like a, there's a potato cam cat here. Here. Draw, all right. This is a plane. Drawbox, are you fucking kidding me? Cat. Oh, thank you. Yes, uh, I'm human. So can I not get the thing? Did it not? Why, why are we not getting to the next page here? I'm afraid to click this. Yes, I'm human. So, oh, submit. You're in line to check out. Uh, calculating estimated wait time. Okay, I guess I'll let it calculate. I mean, I, I suspect there's there's no time to go back at this point. Uh, no time to go back at this point. So we're calculating the estimated wait time for me to be able to check out here. We're one minute, 35 seconds into our speed run here. Uh, I'm afraid to touch anything here. Uh, so I guess I will be patient and see how this goes. I give them credit for a little animation here. Uh, moving the move like this would be perhaps indicative of the hopes and dreams of people patiently waiting. 
to engage this experience, and then uh, each one just falls into the abyss at the end, uh, losing life, limb, and never, of course, actually getting... Oh, estimated wait time, three minutes. Well, this is exciting. Um, now, I, of course... Being the uh, negative Nancy that I am and struggling to uh, draw boxes around cats uh, in airplanes, I strongly suspect that at the end of the three minutes, uh, I get told that so sad, too bad, they are all out of this product. But we'll we'll go through. We were gonna we'll go through the process here. We'll see this through uh, and see how we go. And of course, uh, the other thing to remember here is that we will be checking after this segment uh, the speed at which someone puts their pre-order up on eBay uh, for like a thousand bucks. Well, actually, here. So here's the thing. So at two fifty plus shipping and taxes, you're probably looking at about three hundred for this item if you were to get a pre-order in. Um, so let's speculate while we wait the, it's been three minutes for over a minute, not for nothing, but, um, uh, let's speculate. What do we think that the first scalper is going to charge for the analog 3d? I am going to put the guess at $1,000 even. So there you go. I'll make an official guess here. But, of course, we'll see uh, probably sooner rather than later. I also predict that from the time that we get told this is sold out, uh, it will be less than 10 minutes before we see our first um, pre-order show up on eBay. That's my prediction. A um, thousand bucks will be the price for the first pre-order. Uh, and within 10 minutes of the you are sold out message. Uh, last checked, so we are now, let's see. We're a few minutes into this process where we are in this line. Uh, estimated wait time, two minutes now. I find this interesting um, because maybe there's a limit to how many checkout pages can be running on their site at the same time. I'm not sure. Of course, this also begs the question, how many of these devices are actually available in the pre-order as we come up on the five-minute mark? Now, I want, a, I want a powerful world record. I'm almost disappointed that I haven't been kicked to the curb yet. Less than a minute. Now, I will also, let's, let's be fair. Let's say if by some insane turn of events, I am actually able to do this pre-order and check it out and obtain it. The question becomes, do I celebrate and say, well, you know what? Hey, I was wrong. I was able to, to, to uh, as, as an old guy, um, go in here and get it, circle the cats and the airplanes, and I didn't even need a bot farm, and just let it be and maybe do a review of this when I get it, uh, or do I become part of the problem and immediately list it on eBay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, you know what? I, here's the thing. I I have this weird feeling that I... I, I well, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Are we actually going to be able to do this? Hold on. Contact email. Well, let's give this a shot here. Wow. All right. Well... <laughs> I think it's clonk here. Um, a miracle has occurred. Um, I boy, I'm like, I don't, I you know, now I feel stupid. Now I feel like a silly pants. Uh, we went in. We don't have a bot farm. Uh, I clumsily went through here. Uh, the total is I expected three hundred three dollars eighty seven cents. And it looks like we got ourselves. Uh, it looks like we got ourselves a pre-order. <laughs> so here's the thing. Now, you know, you'd say, "Wow, if you're watching this, it's like I can't believe you went and aired this anyway. You made yourself look like a dummy." Um, so pre-order sold out. We'll change that to snagged pre-order. 
Um, so maybe, uh, so the question, now here's the thing, we don't know. Will Mad Little Pixel RGT get one in time? Did I get the last one? Did I get theirs? Who knows? Um, curious though, at the eight minute mark, are they still available? Um, I don't really care much about these controllers because I have plenty of N64 controllers. Just out of curiosity, what would happen if you tried to do that? Would you be able to get this? The white one? Uh, oh, I agree with Pavel, see? Oh, wow, looks like it's going to let you get all the way down to there. Well, um, here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. Um, There's a life lesson for you. Uh, I went into this exercise convinced that we were going to relentlessly mock analog for another pre-order disaster uh, being available for seconds, if not maybe a few minutes, before uh, you could not procure one of these. And uh, by some miracle, or, or, or let's be honest, uh, you know, it's not as much a miracle. Analog apparently got their shit together. Um, they either have enough of these available or they figured out um, some good anti-bot procedures. I guess the bots can't circle the cats fast enough. Um, and here it is. I, I, little old me, was able to just buy myself uh, an, N6, an analog 3D N64 device. Uh, first try, no bots. So maybe we'll change the uh, split to first try, no bots. Uh, I am curious, though. I am curious, knowing that now for 10 minutes plus it's been available. I mean, I mean, at this point, whenever it goes out, it goes out. But I feel like that tells me that you had uh, the Royal U being whoever showed up on time would have been able to get one of these. Um, I am curious uh, to see if people have already posted their pre-orders. So let's refresh the Analog 3D. Uh, eBay search here. It has not yet been posted. So I will keep this split going uh, to see how long it takes. And here we go. We've got it. Our first uh, scalped analog 3Ds. Oh, let's hit the... I'm sorry. Let's hit the... There it is. Uh, 17... It's actually probably more like 16 minutes. Um, I was a little slow on the draw moving the... Um, moving the live split along. So it was, I'm going to call it with an adjustment, 16 minutes, 16 minutes from the time that the analog 3D became available for pre-order. We have our first uh, scumbag resellers looking to scalp the pre-order. Uh, so here we go. We have uh, the, this particular seller. Uh, would like to charge $150 upcharge, uh, $400. Uh, in the next one, Analog 3D Black pre-order confirmed. Uh, and this seller would like $500 uh, for the um, Analog 3D. So they're looking to double their money. Uh, so this is at the, again, this was at the roughly 16 minute mark, uh, here. Uh, let's refresh and see if others have joined the party. Uh, yes, they have. Here we have a third reseller, uh, who has one of the white pre-orders and who is looking for $500, uh, doubling the money also. So, so far, of our three resellers looking to sell the analog 3D, and then they have all posted their uh, eBay scalping ads within twenty inside of twenty minutes of the um, <laughs> pre-order live uh, for the analog 3d. So this is interesting. Now, let me really quickly, let's go back here and see if they are in fact still available on the analog site. Um, hitting refresh here. Let me just navigate back a little bit. Uh, so that tells me, yeah, they're still available. So these guys have, uh, are clearly assuming 
that the pre-order will in fact uh, be closed at some point soon. It, you know, it would be really funny here to me, hysterical, if Analog finally did the right thing and said, you know what, we'll just hold pre-orders open indefinitely to gather the number of units people want and then order it from the manufacturer, which is what I've been saying the whole time what they should be doing. Uh, I think it would be sports entertaining if it turns out that Analog did the right thing here and they're just going to keep the pre-orders going uh, for however long, maybe a week, two weeks, what have you. And then if you put your credit card in front, you put your payment in phone and you committed to one or two, uh, two being the max they posted, then you're getting them. <laughs> <laughs> no cancellations allowed. That'd be great if there was a no cancellation policy. Um, and it's gonna make it's gonna make uh, these folks uh, end up uh, with uh, analog 3Ds that perhaps they had no interest in. So that also makes me extremely happy. Now we're at the 21 minute mark. Let's see if anyone else has joined the uh, scalp the analog 3D party here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, yes, they most certainly have a player four has entered the fray. Uh, so now, and these are all, these are four different resellers, uh, not for nothing. So the, in this, uh, this entry, $450. So there you go. Um, goodness gracious, 21 within, within about 20 minutes and change. Uh, we discovered that this particular pre-order actually was not the dumpster fire. And I'm the, I'll be the first one to confess this went better than I expected. I give analog credit for them being available. We're 20 minutes in and you can still go and get one. Apparently, um, I hope that they are going to just do this. We'll take as many orders as you want to place uh, and hold with your payment method. <clears throat> and that's how many we will order from the manufacturer. I think that would be amazing. Um, and if that's the case, then we have four eminently very disappointed resellers right here on eBay. Uh, my goodness gracious, that, that also is just chef's kiss. Um, I'm sure there will be a uh, mad little pixel and RGT 85 coverage of this. Uh, it may not be uh, urgent because this apparently actually went better than anyone would have hoped. Uh, perhaps they'll put videos up not with rage, but with applause. Um, so, you know, it, it almost takes a little bit of the shine off of uh, timing uh, when they will chime in. But I think the interesting numbers here in our speed run are, um, you know, that, that first one that sold out was actually how long it took me to procure one. Uh, scalped on eBay in, again, 16 minutes. I'm taking a little time off that because I didn't hit it quickly enough. Um, so there you go. Uh, I, I think we could wrap this up in a neat little package here. Um, like I said, I, you know, once again, I'll be the first to, to own my L's like a man. Um, I was expecting this to be comedy, and this was actually uh, uh, something to applaud Analog for, for having this right. Uh, the site didn't crash. Um, you had to draw boxes around kitty cats and airplanes, and that seems to have gotten a leg up ahead of the scalpers. And if you wanted you an analog 3D, it looks like you got one. Um, and I look forward to, um, to knowing that there's a bunch of scalpers out there that are probably, assuming they bought two a piece, uh, about $500 less liquid available for the time being that they can use to scalp other things this holiday season. So uh, a win-win all around. Uh, let me know in the comments if you scored an analog 3D, if you're looking forward to it. Um, and there you go. So, folks, uh, it's all Doug and Games. Uh, kicks off its new season with a fascinating plot twist. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time on It's All Doug and Games.